Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to uh, go over um, some of the things in iOS 11 that I don't like. It's mainly just the um, new control center, as you see right here on your screen now. Um, it's some of the gripes I have about the controls, new control center and what's going on with the new notification shade in iOS. Um, and of course I'll just give you I'm not gonna go do a review of oh these are all the features of iOS I'm gonna tell you my likes and dislikes of iOS 11 <clears throat> first off starting with a, one of my main likes in iOS 11 is the screen recording feature um, you see it's happening right now um, it's pretty cool um, I don't see it being used by a lot of people every day, but you've got those YouTubers that do Let's Plays and what's not, whatnot. Um, this is perfect for that. You can even do the uh, voiceover like I'm doing now, as you see. Um, let's go back. All right. Here is the control center. My main gripe about this is really that you cannot rearrange these icons. To me, this looks ugly. This little dead space you see down here at the bottom next to the... Uh, record screen and wallet buttons there's nothing there to somebody who's OCD like me that is aggravating I could easily rearrange these icons in a different way so that there's no dead space yes you can add um, icons and sections to control center but if they're not functions you use or you just want to keep it minimal to the function you do use you get a gap such as this okay um, of course these are new volume sliders new volume slider for the brightness a new button for the um, low power mode uh, the Apple TV remote button um, is now in notification center or I'm sorry control center uh, of course you just force touch and you get all the functions of the Apple remote which really you don't need the app now and um, um, well I've not tested if you don't need the app yet but I would assume since it's a function like this you wouldn't need the app um, you've got the camera you got the uh, flashlight of course the new screen mirroring which before you could tap on screen mirroring and it would pop up a list of devices well now you have to force touch Alrighty, you've got the Do Not Disturb, um, Rotation Lock, which I will enable now, the uh, Media Player for, well, actually it's not just for the music app, it's for any app really that plays any kind of media, um, and a problem I have with the new, um, I'm not sure exactly what you would call this, but the Function Buttons, um, in order to see AirDrop, and personal hotspot which I'm glad they put these buttons in the control center to begin with because you'd have to go to get settings for a personal hotspot at least um, yeah you have to force touch to see them instead of having a long row of icons at the top showing all these buttons like yes I know that airdrop and personal hotspot would be the lesser used icons or the lesser used features of iOS and therefore aren't shown in the main view here but it would be handy just to have those icons already visible without having to force touch another qualm of mine or dislike of mine I like I may have mentioned it already actually is that you cannot rearrange these icons um, like I said before there's this dead space, dead space down at the bottom I could easily rearrange these icons and get rid of that dead space but do you think Apple let us do that in this beta and like I said it is beta they could change this and add the function later on down the road but as it stands right now and as they showed off in the WWDC iOS 11 portion of the keynote um, you cannot rearrange these icons and that's a big letdown of course there's this all this dead space at the top but you know and it's it is does work with um, reachability. Actually, I just lied. It does not re work with reachability in this um, beta. But I'm just going to assume that is since it is the first beta and it is beta, 
Hopefully they will hear the users and will add the, this functionality later. Now the second thing that bugs me, okay, and I hope the video doesn't end when I do this, is to get to the new notification shade they showed off at uh, WWDC. You swipe down. Well, it also looks like the lock screen, and in this beta, it actually functions as the lock screen. Okay, press home to open. You can't swipe back up to get to back to your um, home screen. You have to unlock the phone, which means that is now the lock screen. How you will access the lock screen? Um, well, of course, you can still lock your phone the normal way, but to make that the lock screen, or like you can't just slide up and down to see uh, to see notifications. You have to actually unlock your phone. That's that's not ideal for, to me. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really a big fan of this new app store design. You've got today, you saw that in the, go on YouTube for that kind of stuff. Um, calculator looks just like how it did in iOS 1. Um, they just, it looks to me like they copy and pasted code. I mean, nothing new there for me. Actually looks kind of ugly. I like the new wallet layout. I'm not going to show you that because I don't want you to see my cards. Um, iTunes Store, if it loads, looks the way it's always looked. I mean, if they're going to change the App Store, why not change the iTunes Store and have some unity across their OS? Um, but yeah, everything else is really the same. Let's see, you got the notifications. Um, photos looks like the music app does in iOS 10, and maps looks the same. I mean, there's no clear unification of their design, <clears throat> but a couple of their other apps don't have it. Yes, I know it is still beta. I will say, repeat that again, and they could change that in, the, in future betas, but as it stands right now, there's no unification of design alrighty so that's it for this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter at DJ Mexi um, peace out